It is dangerously cold outside. So warming shelters are open across the state this morning. The idea is just to keep people safe, give them some place to go. News 8's Kent Pierce is live this morning in New Haven. Good morning, Kent. Good morning, Chris and Annie. A cold morning, cold for two reasons, the temperature and the wind chill. As for the temperature, you can see it right back there on the New Haven Register. Sign zero degrees. We're wondering if that actually can go into negative numbers. Perhaps we'll see in the next hour or so. If it took into account wind chill, it certainly would be in the negative numbers. You can see the wind. Take a look at, the, the, at my breath, which you can see very, very easily as it goes by. Went straight out that way. That means we got some wind out here. So those two things are keeping you very cold this morning. Your body loses extra heat because of both the temperature and the wind chill. And that's why the state is working with uh, the local groups and shelters to make sure everyone has someplace warm to sleep. If you are without adequate heat today, call 211 and report it. That's a state helpline. They can help get you somewhere safe and warm. Hypothermia is a real problem in this kind of weather. Hypothermia strikes when your body temperature goes below 95 degrees Fahrenheit. You know, it's normally 98.6. It goes below 95 and you have a problem. And victims are often elderly people without enough food, clothing, and heating. Babies sleeping in cold bedrooms. People who are outside for a while like the homeless hunters, hikers, and TV crews. And people who drink or do illicit drugs. Now, we tell you this when the weather is dangerously warm, too. Drinking alcohol and caffeine, it turns out, affect you negatively both when it's too hot and when it's too cold. It basically uh, keeps your body from regulating its own temperature effectively. So just like in the really hot weather, in the really cold weather, stay away from alcohol and caffeinated beverages. And I can tell you from personal experience, layers is the way to go today. Keep your head covered. Lots of layers, a couple of pairs of gloves, a couple of pairs of socks. That's the only way you're going to stay even a little bit warm and safe on a day like today. Live in New Haven, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.